Hey guys, I'm making this video today because um, this year is a special year, uh, namely that it marks my 10 year anniversary of living with multiple sclerosis. This is not yet quite the 10 year anniversary, but uh, social media are reminding me of uh, what kind of a year 2013 was. And I'm reliving those moments and I'm putting everything in perspective and reacquainting myself with the person I was pre-diagnosis. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about that in a second, starting now. So I get, as, so as I get reminded of what kind of a year 2013 was like, I, I see from pictures, from snapshots, from experiences, from the people that I hung out with, I see a picture of a very different person to the person that I am today. And the question of whether I think this person is better or worse than who I am uh, at present, well, that is a question that will be left unanswered, but I do have my, um, I do have a bit of an idea of who, which person was the most aligned with their true self. So, in 2013, based on the pictures that I'm seeing, 2013 was the year of my life. I was living the life. I was feeling great about myself. I was feeling amazing. Um, traveling to several places, like I wouldn't stop. And at the same time, I also see pictures of me taking part in conferences, being, you know, at, at the start of a very promising career. And I could feel that. I could really feel that and that went up to my head and I really was like riding on a high. Yet I'm reminded that during these experiences, I remember what I felt like. I remember how I felt sort of misplaced because there were things I couldn't do uh, and I didn't understand why, but I simply couldn't keep up with my peers. But you know, I just ignored it and carried on and carried on feeling great about myself. Yet, it wasn't until the end of the year in November that I received my diagnosis. So, seeing that time leading up to the diagnosis makes me realize that I was already dealing with a lot of symptoms. So, it really wasn't that different to post-diagnosis me. Um, I remember I went traveling with my with my ex and we went to to Madrid in Spain and for some reason I couldn't stop blinking my eyes to the point that I had to put my hands over my eyes to get some rest because I guess the muscles of the blinking the muscles involved in the blinking would get strained tired and they would hurt and I'd be looking at the monuments at all the tourist stuff that I should be looking at. And I couldn't. So I would look up and then go like this. Yet, despite this being a very uncomfortable symptom that I was dealing with, which I did find a little bit weird already at the time, but I didn't pay much attention to it because I was, I was living an experience that I wanted to take advantage of. I really wanted to drink everything there was to take in from that experience. So I did. And the lesson that I learned from that today is that, well, that is the attitude that I still have to this day. Now knowing that I have to appreciate every moment of my life as if it was a unique experience. Every new day is a unique experience. And whether I'm diagnosed or not, I'm happy to see that my attitude has been the same throughout since pre-diagnosis to post-diagnosis. The difference being that my uh, criteria, my priorities were not quite the same as they are nowadays. And whether that is good or bad, that is up to one's individual judgment. But my personal take on this person I used to be compared to the person I am today is that I would much rather be 
the person that I am today. This is a person that is less worried about what others think of, of me and less, less intimidated by what my peers are doing and what I should be doing. Looking at what my peers are doing, I'm like, oh my God, I should be doing that instead. Whereas now, I've, it wasn't something that happened one day to the next, but I have stopped comparing myself to others. And I think that's, that's a huge, that's a huge benefit that I have gained from multiple sclerosis. If there is anything to gain from a multiple sclerosis diagnosis, that will be one of them. All things considered, I would not say that I would want to go back to the person that I was pre-diagnosis. I still love that person. I still love all the things that we shared, all the things that we experienced. And I loved, I remember that feeling of being on top of the world. And I cherish, I nurture that memory. And I know that it was an illusion because no one is on top of the world, but it was nice while it lasted. And that came the MS diagnosis that snatched it away from me, put me back down to earth and made me reconsider myself, reconsider what my priorities were. And I'm thankful for that. So this video is dedicated to someone dealing with their diagnosis at the moment as they watch this video. And this is dedicated from me to you, for you to know that the MS diagnosis is not the end and you will learn something from it. You will grow from it. And that person that you were pre-diagnosis will always be there with you. And you may have lost some things, but the contact with that person is still there. So remember to stay true to yourself and remember to make all the adjustments that you need to do in order to accommodate this new passenger in your vehicle that is your life. If you make good room for it, you guys might get along. I hope that this makes sense to some of you. I really mean it. Be strong, guys. If you're dealing with diagnosis, be strong and believe that this is not the end and believe that many more beautiful experiences will come your way. So stay strong and take care. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions you may have and I'll be responding to all of those. Take care. Bye-bye.